Man. I know you do. Yeah, let's see. Because Laurel loves to get the records. Maybe not this time. <laughs> she likes breaking records. She too. does. She doesn't but want to come in second. But not with the heat somehow, yeah. 101 today in Portland. That is a new record, but uh, only by a couple years. We hit 100 on this date in 2020. So it's a hot day. It is sort of not sort of it's the hottest time of the year. Late July, early August is when many of our hottest days have come. Of course, last year was the outlier when we had the heat dome in late June, but normally it's late July and early August. 101 in Troutdale, new record. Hood River, 104, new record. Hillsborough and the Dallas tied their records for the day. Boy, the Dallas 111. That's a high bar to cross to reach 111. They did it in the Dallas today. Portland right now, it's hazy, sunny, and still 101. Humidity is reasonably low at 21%. Elsewhere, in case you weren't on that list, Aurora, 100, 99 in McMinnville, 94 in Kelso seems really quite reasonable compared to the rest of us, right? And then down the valley, triple digits in Salem, but not a, not a record. Actually, Salem may have tied its record now with that 103. 102 in Eugene, 101 in Roseburg, and look at Newport. That's not a mistake. They never made it out of the 50s at Newport because of this, the fog. It's been thick, still is. It's only 57. Very little wind, but it is coming in from off the ocean. So we are under the successive heat warning now until Saturday at 9 o'clock. Yesterday, it was until Thursday at 9 o'clock. We thought we'd get enough cooling on Friday to get out of it, but now it looks like we'll stay in the upper 90s through Saturday. There's also the air quality warning simply because we're not getting any turnover in our air mass. No new air coming in, no ventilation. So the air quality just goes downhill because of that. And then off the coast, <coughs> speaking of air quality, off the coast where you see that gray area, that's a, a dense marine fog advisory. You don't see that very often on the Oregon coast, but we have one now because of what I showed you at Newport. You can see the fog there. It's kind of rolling north and then south offshore. There's a bit of an eddy here. There is a little bit of cloud buildup over south central Oregon. So far, nothing cooking on radar, but there is in northern California. And speaking of eddies in the fog, look at this like southern California. Look at that one right there. This looks like a full blown storm, right? But it's just a weak circulation in the fog itself. So the big picture is still this big area of high pressure right here on the West Coast. We need that to break down in order to get out of this, but that doesn't happen until we go into the weekend. I'll show you what will actually do the trick for us. In the meantime, notice the arrows are on shore. You think, well, that's good. The air's coming in from, the off, from off the ocean, but it's just such a weak flow. We're not really getting the cooling influence, but that's the one thing that could get us out of the heat a little sooner. It's possible. I've seen this happen where suddenly you just get a little intrusion of marine air into the valley and it breaks the heat a little bit sooner than we might think. Hopefully that will happen right now. It looks like it's going to be Saturday, Sunday before it does because this little wiggle in the jet stream, that's the thing that's going to break down the high pressure and allow that marine air to get thicker and surge into the valleys. And that doesn't happen until Saturday night and Sunday. So stays hot until then, but it's still looking nice next week on the cool side. No big rain coming our way, but also no big heat. So we'll take that trade off. I think at this point 101 right now, freezing level is high 16,500 feet on the coast. Fog and low clouds there. Some breaks cool highs are on 70 unless you're in Newport where you barely climb out of the 50s uh, in the valley. Sunny and hot again about 99 in Salem 97 McMinnville. So you see we drop a couple degrees hot in the Cascades. They never drop below 70 at government camp last night. Probably won't tonight. Hazy sunshine on the east side still very hot there in the 105 to 110 range. There's 110 in the Dalles and the Gorge and for Portland another warm night another hot day tomorrow, but we'll go 99 tomorrow 98 Thursday 99 Friday. So again, Think about it. Okay, we're 101 today, 101 to 99, not that much of a difference. And then finally dropping into the upper 80s on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday still look delightful at this point.